Okay. All right. I'm going to so, meet everyone. Have fun. Thank you. Thank you. All right. We got to start with our breath. And so as we think about this being the solstice, winter solstice. So because it's really a time of balance, even though we think of winter as more darkness, we're starting to get to light. So let's start with a balanced breath. So you can think about as you inhale, you're breathing in light, breathing in light through your nose, and then exhaling out, letting it go. So inhale, breathing in through the nose, and exhale, breathing out through the nose. Unless, of course, you're stuffy, then you got to switch that up. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in light. Think about bringing the light right up towards your chest. So from belly upwards. And then exhaling out. Let the exhaling be a softening, a relaxing. I just realized I didn't turn my lights on. Do we gotta have lights? Gotta have lights. Breathing in and breathing out. I don't know if that made a difference for you or not. A little bit of difference for me, but hopefully you see me better. And so we'll try to keep this nice balanced breath through our practice, through our practice. Let's start by drawing a circle with your nose. So it's gonna be, take it clockwise, just a gentle circle starting to warm up the neck. You can pretend you have a carrot like Frosty the snowman at the end of your nose. And then circle the other way, circling the neck around. So you're making a circle with your nose and return to center. Let's exhale and drop our right ear down towards our right shoulder. And breathe in. And breathe out. Inhale, head rises. And exhale, other direction. Left ear towards left shoulder. Feel the sensation. You're going to feel the sensation on the side of your neck. You might feel it all the way along the side and maybe even down towards this area in between the neck and the shoulder. And then inhale, rise back up. Let's tilt the chin down towards the chest. And inhale, head rises up. Little tongue action, let's wake up our faces. So bring your tongue to the top of your upper teeth inside the lip, the gum area, and you're gonna swish back and forth from right to left about 10 times. If you notice your tongue gets tired, take a break. Cause this isn't this, the tongue is not used to this, but it's really, really good for it. Um, we don't normally do that. So first we're gonna do the upper and then we'll do the lower. So it's swishing your tongue from right to left. So back and forth, and each way back and forth is one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome. Notice how your tongue feels. Let's do the bottom. And if you're not tired, you can always increase the, the amount that you do. We'll go to the other side now. I mean, the bottom. So here we go again. Right to left, left to right. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And take a pause. Notice how your tongue feels. I think it feels really good, honestly. Now we're going to go around. So clockwise, about 10 times. Ready? Here we go. So you're going from top to bottom and around. And stop. Notice how that feels. You can feel the muscles work. You can feel the effect of this. Now let's go counter clockwise. And pause. Notice how the tongue and the mouth feel now. And now this is a funny one. You're going to stick your tongue out forward and just try to keep it straight out. So it looks like we're sticking our tongues out at each other. You ready? See how long you can go. Mine starts to wiggle up and down. So really extending from the back forward. And then release, let it go. Okay, circle around on our hips. You might want to come a little bit forward on the chair. As you tune into the breath, breathing in and breathing out. You can think of yoga as bringing light into your body as you move and open up different channels in the body that may have been closed from being sticky or tight. Let's go the other way or contracted or rigid. Circle the other way. So we just notice the sensation of moving and where you feel it in your body. That's really the, the primary focus outside of breathing. Breathing in sensation. Come back to center. And let's take our arms out to the side. So we're balanced, just like this winter solstice, we're balanced, right and left, left and right. Let's tilt down towards the right. You don't have to lift the arm all the way up and the elbows can be bent. And then we can tilt towards the left, trying to keep both sitting bones down on the chair. So you're going to adjust based on your balance, how you're feeling. Let's go the other way. A little bit of swaying. Beautiful. And one more time towards the left. And come back to center. Drop the arms down. Circle the shoulders around and about. I was talking to somebody last night who was having a little bit of a headache. And I said, well, how about trying circling your shoulders around? Because that always feels good. Bring a little bit of relief to the body. Let's side bend now towards the right and the opposite elbows lifting. And side bend the other way. This is such a cool time of year when we focus on bringing light into darkness whether you're celebrating Christmas or Hanukkah, we can, and no matter what your practice is, focusing on bringing a little bit of light into our lives, our heart, our relationships, side to side, and come back to center. Right arms forward. Good, spread your fingers, 
Relax the shoulder down. If it tends to lift up, let it relax down. You can always touch your shoulder to see, is it up? Give it a little tap so it lowers down. Turn the palm upright. Curl your fingers in towards your palm and then open it up and curl them in. Thumb out to the side, get a good stretch here. Open it up, turn the palm so it's forwards. So you're flexing through your hand and your wrist, fingers spreading. Feel that flexion. And then turn the hand down and use your left hand to give it a little bit of help. Circle the knuckles around and about one way and then the other. And relax the hand down in your lap. Just notice how that side feels. Inhaling, left arm rises. Relax the shoulder down. Extend through the fingertips. How about open the fingers up, so spread them. Feel the stretch just in your hand and your arm and close them. Open it up. Let's turn the palm upright. So this is an external rotation. You can feel your shoulder blade on the back, curling your fingers in towards your palm and your wrist. Nice little stretch there. Beautiful. Open the fingers up. Now curl them in once again, curl fingers towards palm. Open it up. Let's turn it back upright, flex the palm. And now turn the fingers down and use your right hand. Get a little stretch going that way. Notice which way feels tight for you. Maybe it doesn't feel tight every direction. We tend to be one more than the other. This is the one where I feel more of a stretch. And then let's turn the fingers out, feel how that is, and bring it back up. Thumb inside, wrap fingers around, circle the wrist. Yes. So we're really in the beginning, just doing a little bit of joint freeing, getting the body oiled up. It's a little dry this time of year, like the Tin Man. Let's inhale, lift the heels. So imagine you're bringing light into the bottom of your feet and then exhale, lower the heels down. Inhale, they lift up. Notice I feel a sensation right in here and into the arch and then exhale, lower down. Beautiful. Inhale, lift your right knee upwards and then exhale let the foot go get some sensation on the bottom of the foot moving other side left lifting exhale let it go a few times alternating one side and then the other right and left very very important that we stimulate the bottom of our feet um, as we get older, the sensation in our feet lessens. So we have to do a little bit more playing with them to wake it up, wake it up on the bottom of your foot. So first choice would be get someone to give you a foot massage, right? Second choice, you could give yourself one. You know, I love using the tennis balls or those other balls to roll the foot around. It's a nice, massage. Let that go. Inhale, right knee lifts up towards you. Give it a big hug in. Big hug in. So feel your thigh move towards your Christmas cookie bellies, potato lacas, whatever you've been eating these days. This is a very, very food friendly time of year. All the goodies. So tall, let's circle the knee around and about. Pull it in and out and forward. Find that full range of motion in your hip socket. 
And then place the foot down with the knee turned out. Toes are down, heel is towards the ankle. Inhale, arms out to the side. Now this could be a balance position right here. Do you wanna find a spot to stare at that's not moving? Perhaps one or both of your branches lift up. So this is seated tree pose. You can have your arms in a V, one arm up, one arm down. What does your tree look like today? And then let's curl the fingers in towards the palm. Thumbs are outward. Open the fingers up. Feel your shoulder blades on your back. Breathe in and breathe out. Place the foot down, lower your arms, and let the knee open and close. So we're rolling to the outside of the foot and back towards the inside. A few times. And then step the foot out to the side. We're now at a, an angle, might be about 90 or a little less, a little more. Perfection isn't the name of the game here, but safety is. You're looking for the, to feel, you're really feeling the sensation. You're not looking. You're feeling the sensation from within. Let's bring our palms on top of our thighs. Take your sitting bones back as you lean forward. Now push down through your feet, circle the shoulders up and then back without squeezing the blades together. Feel them move in towards the spine. Breathe in, breathe out, maybe lift the heart slightly. That's where your light resides. Lift the heart slightly. So this is a little back bend. It's almost like a mini cobra. And then lengthen the head once again. So the crown of your head is reaching forward. You have a beam of light that you, you're making, get, it's through your practice is getting bigger and bigger in your heart. And then it's beaming to the right. Push down through your feet, rise up. Rise up. Let's inhale, interlace the fingers, press them forwards. Awesome. Start to make circles with your elbows. Just lifting and circling. There's no right or wrong. We're just moving and flowing and breathing. Hand to your hip, draw the shoulders up and back. Press down through your feet. Feel the whole foot pushing down into the mat or the carpet, whatever it's touching for you. And circle the left arm around and about. Feel perhaps each time lengthening a little bit more, or maybe you're just moving a little bit more into the shoulder socket. Eventually, lengthen the arm over the ear, elbow bent or straight or somewhere in between. Pull the belly in and up as you lengthen over your ear. Breathe in and breathe out. We're gonna push down through our feet, rise up, hands to the thighs, one more cobra. We're opening up our hearts. This is a very heart-filled, heart-warming time of year, celebrating with family and friends, shoulders up and back, spine lengthening forward. Feel that beam of light coming through your spine and out through your royal crowns. Draw the shoulders up and back. Push down through your feet, down through your palms. Lift the heart slightly. Now there should be no lower back pain here. If you're feeling pain, then don't lift so much and tap your sitting bones down into the chair. Press down, rise up, and Let's bring that foot back forward. 
In fact, let's extend the legs and just stretch them out, maybe shake them out a little bit, and then pull them back in. And we'll, ex we'll lift up the left knee, give it a hug, hug it in, circle the knee around and about, open up the joint. I'm hearing creaking of the chair. Not the hip joint, but a little bit in the chair. Needs a little oiling too. And then we're gonna lower the foot down and the ankle's coming, or the foot's coming to the ankle. And press down through the toes. Sit tall, lift up and out of your waist. Notice if you're leaning back, try to get about centered on your sitting bones. You can imagine that a book or a yoga block is on top of your head and you have to balance it. I said it in class the other day and then everybody started putting blocks on top of their head. It is a good way to uh, figure out what's straight up and down. Gotta say, just make sure it doesn't drop on you. Especially if you have one of those wooden blocks, please don't let it drop on you. You don't wanna hurt yourself. But it's kind of playful here. Oh, a, good, a few of you are trying, go for it. So just imagine the top of your head pressing into that block or book. Breathe in, make sure you didn't stop breathing because you don't want the block to fall. Breathe in, breathe out. Maybe your arms go into a T. Maybe they go into a V. Feel your shoulder blades on your back. So reach out through your hands, through your arms, and then pull the arm bones slightly back. Feel your shoulder blades on your back. Feels really good to bend the elbows here. Exhale, lowering down. I think I'm gonna remove this block because there's no way it's staying on as I start moving. So don't let the block fall on you. Unless, I mean, these styrofoam ones aren't gonna hurt, but. I don't know if you guys have seen the cork ones or the wood ones, those could hurt. So let the knee go open and closed. And then eventually open it up. So we've got our angle here. Once you get your angle, sit up tall. So now you know what it feels like to have a book on your head. Another visualization is to imagine that there's a string in the back of your head and someone's gently pulling it up gently pulling it up, just helps to find that, that upright position. So generally the chin is either parallel with the earth or slightly down. Don't want you to get rigid when you think about this though. Let's inhale and lift the toes. So push down through the rest of the feet, but lift the toes. So ball of the foot is down. Exhale, lower the toes, hands on your thighs, lean forward, sit bones back. You might have to adjust your sit bones or hips on the chair. Shoulders are up and back, feel your shoulder blades on your back. Now that beam of light is moving towards your left kitty corner. At a diag, Lift the heart by pressing your palms down. Your elbows will come in towards your rib cage. Take a breath in as the heart lifts. A breath out. We're going to push down through our feet. Rise on up. Awesome. Forearm to thigh. Bottom shoulder back. So it's like you're leaning back a little bit. Little bit. Then top arm right arm, circle it around, circle it around. You can let the hand feel kind of limp and the elbow lead the way. Notice how that feels. You could lengthen through the arm. Notice how that changes it up. You could have your hand at your shoulder. Notice how that changes it up for you. So yoga is very much an exploration. We use visualization, we use exploration, we use imagination, we use sensation, all the sh shums words. 
And that arm eventually comes over your ear. Feel that, feel that lengthening. Take your mind's eye to your right hip and press it down. Belly's toning as you press your hips down. Breathe in and breathe out. Breath is in, breath is out. We're gonna push down to our feet, rise up, rise up, relax the shoulders and exhale, release. And bring that foot back in and notice how your body's feeling now. So since we're at this point of light and dark being even, so cool, let's do alternate nostril breathing because that is also a balance. So we'll be in sync with the universe by doing our alternate nostril breathing. So for those of you who haven't been here before or forgot what it's like, I'll show you the different options for alternate nostril. One is to bring your thumb, your, your pointer finger and your ring finger on the inside of your palm. The other one is to have your peace fingers up and you touch your forehead, your, the middle of your forehead. We call that the third eye. Actually massage the, the third eye. It feels really good. It's very soothing. If you ever get a headache, that might be a nice thing to massage. You also can use two hands if it's if you're feeling like it's challenging or too challenging to use just one hand, use two. So you would just use maybe your pointer fingers. What we're gonna do is find the placement of the thumb on one nostril and the ring finger on the other. We're not pushing in so you're squeezing, by the way. It's a gentle touch, a gentle pressure in. Then we're gonna block the right, exhale out through the left, inhale in through the left, block the left with your ring finger or another finger, and exhale out through the right, inhale in through the right, block it, Exhale out through the left. Inhale in through the left. Block the nostril. Exhale out through the right. Inhale in through the right. Exhale out through the left. Now you can take as much time as you want. Like Maybe I was doing a count of three or four there. You could do whatever count you want to do. Maybe you're at five. So it would look something like, I'll do it for four counts. So we'll, we'll count it out. Blocking the right, exhaling out through the left. Two, three, four. Inhaling in through the left. Block it. Exhale out through the right. One, two, three, four. Inhaling, one, two, three, four. Block it, exhale out through the right. Two, three, four. Inhaling in, two, three, four. Do it a few more times on your own. If you have any questions, I'm happy to go over it again after class or you can unmute yourself. And you can do somewhere around 20 reps. Some people do this for several minutes. I recommend you do do it for several reps, then take a break, go back to nice, even, steady breathing, and just feel. How does your body feel now? This is very calming and balancing for the nervous system. Breathe in. Breathe out. You can let your hand go once you've found even right and left. And we'll work towards some standing poses. Now move this out of the way here. And you can use a chair or the wall for our first pose, which is wall dog. So hand either on the seat of the chair or the back of the chair. This is a balanced pose because we've got all of 
appendages down, presumably. Both feet down and hands down. And about he, feet, feet about hip distance apart. Soften the knees, palms on the chair, taking the sit bones back in a nice stretch through the lower spine. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. And then walk your feet back towards the chair. And come on up. Let's do a nice wide legged stance. You can have the chair in front of you. I'm gonna show it once in front of me, but then I'll take it to the side because it blocks your view. We take a wide stance. So you feel your strong legs. They're pushing down into the mat. Your wide stance is gonna be different than anybody else's. You're gonna take the widest stance that's comfortable for you where you don't feel like you're gonna fall, but maybe you're getting a little stretch and you're tuning into your strength. So pushing down through our feet, and then we're gonna angle our hips down towards the earth. Let's turn the right toes out for warrior two. Knee bending over heel. And then your left toes are either forward or they can come inward. I don't know if you could see that, but if you pull them in and you press the heel away, it gives you a little bit more balance for most people. So knee over heel. Our shoulders are over our ears. Let's take a breath in and a breath out and maybe flow the right arm out to the side. Bring it forward, open it up. Perhaps gaze follows hand as you move it forward in front of you. And then actually this is forward because this is the front. Curl your fingers in towards your palm. You're making a thumbs up, a thumbs up for warrior two. Inhale, straightening the leg, maybe lifting the arm. Exhale, bending the knee. Sweep the arm forward. Open it up. Forward. Open it up. Turn the palm upright. Gazing towards your fingers. Inhale, breathe in, straighten the leg and turn all 10 toes forward. Make your adjustments. Let's stuff the feet together, give you a little break. Maybe alternate bending one knee than the other. In fact, you can roll through it. You can lift one heel, knee is bending, and then the other. So you can either without lifting the heel or with lifting the heel, alternate right and left, roll through the feet, roll through the feet, roll it as you breathe in and you breathe out. And we will move to warrior two, other side. Now that you know where we're going, I'm gonna stick this to the right. Wide stance. Wide stance, feel your strong legs. Your legs are filled with light, filled with light, like thunderbolt, real strong. Then turn the left toes outward and let's bend the knee over the ankle and heel and then straighten it. So easy does it, bending, maybe arms out to the side, maybe it's not. Bending, knee over towards, it's directly over the heel, or it could be just a little bit before. The knee doesn't need to come any further than the heel. It might strain it, so try not to. 
Let's bend it, relax the shoulders, flow the left arm forward and back. So it's straight up from your shoulder and bring it forward in front of your heart and back out straight outward from your shoulder. One more time, flow it and gaze over your fingertips. Let's straighten the leg, relax the arm down, bend the knee, gaze over your fingertips, turn the palm upright, curl the fingers in towards your wrist, turn the thumb upright. Hey, it's always a stretch for me. It really gets tight in there. Bring the fist forward, open it back up, and straighten the leg. You can always straighten your leg before I do. It's just, I'm giving you a guide and you can follow it or modify. One more time, we're gonna bend it. Maybe we whip the other fingertips just for a moment. Maybe not. Breathe in. Breathe out. Arm may lift. It may lower. Lifts a little higher. Flows down. One more. I know I keep saying one more. Feel your warrior. Feel the strengthening. You are calling upon your thigh to work. Good morning, thigh. Straighten the leg, all 10 toes forward, and bring your feet back to hip distance apart. I know you guys are ready for chair pose. You love chair pose, right? You love it. So, um, and it, by the way, it's a symmetrical pose. You can um, put a block in between your thighs if you so desire or toilet paper roll, although most of us, well, you know what? Toilet paper roll is, works awesome. Back in the COVID days, we were using it, although we're still a little bit in that, aren't we? All right, so block in between thighs, standing in our mountain pose, hugging our block, not too intensely, but you can feel your inner thighs magnetizing and activating. Stand a little bit away from the chair with your fingertips on it for balance so that you have room to bend your knees and take your sit bones back. When in doubt, stick your buttocks back and then inhale and straighten the legs without locking. Exhale, hips go down and back. And then angle the sit bones down, turning on the thighs. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, bend. Sit bones back. Angle them down. Feel the weight. So you may feel it going more towards your heels. Try to bring it a little bit more center. It's going to go to your heels with the hips going back. The heart's lifting up. Anchor the hips down. Inhale, rise up. Awesome. We'll go down again. And if you want to play with lifting one or both arms, you go for it. I'll turn this way. You also could be holding a strap or a cane. What am I going to hold? Where is my cane? I don't know what I did with it. Well, here's this. This is a leg lifter, but you could use a strap or anything. It's going to depend upon whether you want to keep one or both hands on the chair. So here we are, sit bones back. Then we anchor them down, the belly tones a little bit. Maybe we take one or both arms forward, slightly lifting. Breathe in, breathe out. Breath is in, breath is out. You can always come out of it before I come out of it, by the way. Don't wait on me. And then straighten your legs. Tall. Lift tall. You ready? Here we go again. Sit bones back. Arms forward. 
heart lifting. Oh, we're working our thighs. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. We're strengthening. We're strengthening. We are strengthening. Are you breathing? That's most important. Come on out of it. Take a little break. You deserve it. You deserve a break. You can take the block out. Let's do another wall dog. Stretch it on back. See how this one feels different. You can start with the knees bent, maybe the feet a little bit wider. If there's a lot of pressure on your arm bones, bend them. You can also rest your arm bones on the seat of the chair when you do this. Maybe some of you are using a countertop like in the kitchen. Sit bones back. And then maybe we straighten the legs. And walk back in towards the chair. Let's do some lunges and we'll add in some spinal balance action too. So we're gonna start with right foot forward, left leg back, hands on the chair. Now this back foot can be down or heels up. And then we're gonna slowly straighten the front knee, not all the way, and then bend it and straighten and bend. So again, we're working those thighs today. You guys said it was my choice. Maybe you won't give me the choice again, huh? What we work on. Bend the knee over the heel. So feel right here could be a balance pose, right? If it's feeling shaky, put the back heel down or come back out of it, take a little break, maybe start again. If you're feeling like it's safe, you can let your left hand stay on the seat of the chair, but maybe take your right arm out to the side or at your hip. Open up the shoulder, pull the shoulder back, gazing towards the side, towards your right. Head is turned to the right. Place the hand back down, softening the front knee keeping it bent and step the left foot to meet the right and stand back up. Awesome. I'll turn this way so you can see and I can see you. Keep the left leg forward, take the right leg back. Take your time to get into it. The journey into the pose is just important as what we think of as the end pose. There's really not an end pose, right? Like we're not static beings, we're always moving. So there's always some type of movement going on. Let's bend the front knee and straighten it and bend. So we're just pulsing into this lunge. Where I feel it the most is my back calf. Notice where you feel it the most. Building perhaps a little bit of heat. And you might turn the heel up or not. An option is to keep your right hand down and maybe take the left arm out to the side. Want to make sure you keep the bottom shoulder, so the right shoulder back externally rotated on your back. You don't want to feel like it's moving forward like that. You want it to stay so you feel safe and in alignment. Shoulders kind of circling back. It's externally rotating. And then maybe the hands at the hip and then you have the opportunity to circle that top left shoulder back. You might even take the arm skyward from here. It's a possibility. These are all possibilities not requirements, all little steps along the journey. Let's exhale and lower the arm down and step the right foot to meet the left. And stand on up. So since we've got sun and moon balancing out, we'll do a crescent moon and we'll do some sun salutes. You can have the chair in front of you. 
for our side bends. So we're pushing down through our feet in our mountain pose. You can have both hands on a chair in front of you or lift your arms skyward, relax your shoulders down. You might interlace your fingers and have your pointer fingers upward. So pinky ring middle are interlaced, pointer fingers upward, thumbs crossed. Then side bending towards your right. Now, if you have one hand on the chair, then the other one is, is lengthening towards the right. Feel a nice stretch on the left side of your body. Breathe in. Breathe out. You are a crescent moon or a banana. We're going to inhale and lift up. Exhale. One or both hands to your heart if they're not on the chair. This is also a balancing pose, right? Palms touching. We're bringing it towards our middle. In Sanskrit, they call it the muja, the muja. That's the center of our body, bringing all the energy towards the center. Let's lift on up for crescent pose towards the left. Maybe you have one hand down and one up towards your left. Enjoy your crescent pose. Push down firmly through both feet, but notice how you might feel a little bit lighter on the right side, so push it down. Push it down, enjoy this side bend. You, yes, you can use your hand for a little bit of traction. Breathe in and breathe out. Inhale, we rise up, relax the shoulders, hands at your heart. Back to steady, balanced pose, mountain pose. Down for arms down for a sun salute. So you can be seated or standing for this. Inhale, arms rise. Lift tall. So anchor your sitting bones down to your heels as you lift tall. Imagine that that block is on your head. Keep pressing the block up towards the sky. Then we're going to exhale, take our arms out like a bird. How do birds fly? Maybe one hand is on the chair to the side, otherwise you'll bump your head. If it's in front of you, lower one or both hands down towards your shins, your thighs, the chair, or your feet. Look through the space in between your legs. Now we're gonna inhale and look halfway up. So when we look halfway up, you're pushing your hands into your thighs, or your shins, and your spine is moving forward, shoulders on your back. We did this seated when our feet were in the angle, in that 90 degree angle. And then exhale, release. Allow the upper spine to release. If it feels good to you, with, your, with, your, with the weight in the middle of your feet towards the, the front part of the arch, you may take one hand to each elbow, opposite elbows. You might bend your knees slightly. You might sway your trunk a little bit, right and left. That feels really nice on the spine. And we're gonna inhale, look halfway up again. Take your hands to your hips, push down through your feet. Inhale, arms out towards the side. Reach skyward, reach to the light. Exhale, pull it down towards your heart. You guys are awesome. We'll do one more sun salute with our crescent. So inhale, arms lift. Side bend towards the right. Take a breath in. And a breath out. Inhale, we lift up. Side bend towards the left. Enjoy that. You've been there before, but your body knows where it's going. You might get a little bit more of a stretch. Inhale, we rise up. Exhale, soften your knees as we forward fold. 
Feel the weight centered in your feet, releasing your head and your jaw. Inhale, look halfway up. So hands at your thighs or your shins. Sit bones are moving back. Spine and crown are moving forward. Exhale, release the head. Maybe you let the trunk, the torso, the head dangle right and left. It's a little massage for the muscles around your spine. Yoga should feel good. It's like an internal massage. Come back to center. One or both hands to your hips. Shoulders circle up and back so they're on your back. We rise up, arms out to the side. Ooh, my foot is staying on today. Arms up overhead. Reach to your highest. Exhale, hands to the heart. You guys are awesome. Let's have a seat. We haven't done many spinal twists and we must. We must because all those cookies and sweets are in us. Donuts, potato latkes, all of your good food. And I'm going to just bring a strap with me. If you have one, bring it with you so that we can do a leg stretch after our spinal twist. Let's turn our knees towards the right. So knees are facing to the right. And then you're gonna take your hands towards the back of the chair, one or both. And you're gonna gaze back, shoulders opening. You can relax your elbows down. You can bend the elbows out to the side a little bit. So we're gonna take an inhale, lift up tall through the spine. Exhale, find a little bit more of a twist as you hold on to the back of the chair. Without cranking your neck, you might look towards your shoulder, over your shoulder. Notice what you feel. I feel a little bit of stretching in the neck, the side of the neck. Inhale, return to center. Feel your body. Let's extend the left leg, right knee is bent. And we're gonna find a twist now. Take your hand outside your knee, opposite hand outside your knee. So I've got left hand to right knee. And then maybe you take your right arm back and gaze towards your thumb. You can pull your left toes towards you. This is another twist. Breathe in, breathe out. Your hand also could just touch the chair. Feel a nice, soft, gentle breath. Turn back to center. So chin facing same way as knees. Pull the foot back underneath your knee and turn back to center. And feel. Feel how does your body, what kind of sensations are going on right now? And then let's turn our knees towards the left. Get situated on the chair. Lift tall. So you can even press your palms and your thighs as we lift tall. And then turn. You're turning from your navel up, finding your twist. Think about three to five breaths here. Full. Complete inhales and exhales. Inhale, head back to neutral. So chin in line with the knees and zipper. And now let's extend the right leg for a twist. Whatever side you didn't do, we'll bring our hand, opposite hand outside knee, and take your opposite arm back. So it looks like this. Heels pressing down, toes are up towards us. We're tall. 
we're open. Maybe hand is down, head turning without straining or cranking. Full breathing. Enjoy the sensation of twisting. It's so good to move around stagnant energy in the body. Let's turn back forward towards our knees. Pull the back leg in and come back to neutral. Notice how does your body feel now? Let's do one last leg stretch. So placing the tie around the bottom of the foot. And if you do have another chair ottoman, I highly recommend putting your foot on that. Resting your foot on it. Because that's going to be really nice. So you can focus on your stretching. So it's always good to bring two chairs with you for these classes. I think it is. Heel pushing away, toes upward, shoulders up and back. Feel your stretch. Feel the strap. You can even kind of let it pull right and left with it. It feels like a little massage on the bottom of your foot. Feels really good. Massage the bottom of the foot as you pull the strap one way towards you, other one away, and then pull the other one towards you, other ones away. Maybe you turn the toes out and the heel in. Inhale, toes upright. And let's exhale and find a number four or gentleman's pose. Little hip opener here. Leaning forward. Potentially, depends how open your hips are. If you're already feeling sensation, no need to lean forward. You only lean forward if you want a little bit more. Let's press down through the bottom foot and rise up. Release the leg, other side. Strap around the foot. Hopefully you're resting it on a chair or something in front of you. So you can relax the leg as you stretch. Push the heel away, shoulders up and back. Push out through the ball of the big toe. Be right here. Feel the sensation. What's stretching? Where do you feel the stretch the most? You might play with that massaging action. We can't, we can't treat our feet unfairly. We tend to do the right side first and then the left. So sometimes the left side gets short chained, but we got to be really acting in a balanced way today. Really acting in a balanced way, match out our winter solstice. And then perhaps turn the toes out, heel in. Inhaling. When you're ready, toes upright. Release the foot, let it go. Release the strap. And let's relax a little bit here. I highly suggest you find some time in this busy time to just relax and digest all the holiday spirit. Really take it in with gratitude, all the giving and receiving, so much to be grateful for. You might soften your eyes. Relaxing your feet. Allowing your lower legs to relax including your ankles as you take a breath in and out. Feel the weightiness of the hips against the seat of the chair. Relaxing the upper thighs and the knees. The area in between the knees and the hips. Mm 
relaxed belly. Lifted spine. Relaxing shoulders. And arms. Hands. Fingers. Neck spine. Head. Scalp. Forehead. Eyebrows. Eyes. Nose and mouth. Feel the whole body relaxing. And this nice, restorative state. Gentle breathing in and out through the nose. So stay as long as you want in your relaxation pose. There's so many good recordings online. You can look at the Insight Timer. I just listened to Patrick McEwen this morning. That was really nice on the Insight Timer. He has a breathing exercise that's super nice and relaxing. You might bring your hands in front of your heart as we bow in with gratitude. Much gratitude for us being together as a community. Much gratitude for the support of the Michigan Parkinson Foundation. Much gratitude for our mind and our bodies and our spirit. Namaste to all of you. Happy winter solstice. Happy holidays. Shine your light, everyone. Mindy, I have a question. Yes. Does anyone eat their potato pancakes with apple butter? Ooh, that sounds really good. Sounds good to me. I mean, usually it's applesauce, but I don't see anything wrong with apple butter. That's yummy. That's how I grew up eating it. <laughs> and you never see it advertised anywhere. So I wonder if anybody uses apple butter on their... Potato that paint. sounds really yummy. Where where did you grow up? Um, him, my mother's Polish and my dad's German. So from ah. the side of Detroit. Very, very I, I love the idea. I might just have to check it out. My oh. brother always makes a nice homemade applesauce. He's like, he's like king of the applesauce. Ah. <laughs> well, thank you for your whole year of input. It's been excellent. Oh, I'm so glad you've been with us. Thank you. Yes, thank you very, very much. Thank you, everyone. Anyone's interested in a gratitude? We're doing a gratitude challenge. So if you're interested, make sure to um, contact me. It's a gratitude challenge for January. And we've got some great speakers that I think you might really enjoy. One is a TEDx talker. So... You can always email me at mindy at yogamovesms.org if you're interested. And I'll send you the info. Take care, everyone. All right, enjoy your day.